All right, here I'm going to uh, look at a Lionel um, clockwork set. This is the uh, 1800 orange uh, clockwork set. Um, there's a couple of versions of it. This one, particular one, had the uh, the whistle. Um, I think there was one without a whistle and had a, a battery powered headlight. And uh, although I'm not a fan, or not not I'm not a fan, but I'm not a collector of, of clockwork. As, as a rule, but uh, I like these streamliner sets, and this is, you know, this is the same almost as the uh, 1700, which is Lionel Jr. streamliner set, and consists of the head car and uh, the center car and an end car. Um, I have this here. Um, when I got this, the motor the motor just didn't work, and I ended up there's a there's a large gear. There, I, I remade the entire gear. The uh, the ratcheting for the wind up, the spring uh, mechanism that they used, that was broken. So I made a new spring mechanism. I made a couple pieces for the intermediate gears. Um, I made the gear that drives the impeller, and I had to make the impeller also. Um, and this this engine has, uh, if you can see the difference in the wheels, it has. Um, one of the wrong sets of wheels on it. The only, the only drive wheel is the front one, the only geared wheel on this, the, the, the back two are not driven. And uh, the lever there is the brake so when you wind this up it, uh, you can lock it so it doesn't take off on you. And there's a mechanism there, that, that arm you can see there, that controls the, uh, the valve that controls the whistle. And uh, Although it pulls the train okay and actually works, um, you know, it goes around the layout about twice and then it quits and more often than not it quits in the back of the layout and then you have to get up on the layout and get the thing because if you're uh, like me, you made all the mistakes you could possibly make when you made your layout so I have to climb on to get the uh, trains that are stuck in the back. But in any case, uh, what I did is I, I looked through my junk box and I, I found a... Uh, a shell um, that was the same type of shell that, for the motor and I kept looking I found some wheels that I could adapt that worked with this frame and I found an armature I had and an E unit and I, I made a, uh, the ball pivot that, that piece there and, and fit that to the motor frame so uh, um, although it's not uh, original or anything I didn't do anything that couldn't be put back too original, so I, I don't feel bad about any of the th anything I've done. The one unusual thing about this, and, or I don't know if it's unusual, but there's two holes in the side of this uh, train. Now, the hole originally was so you could stick the key in there and wind the thing. Why there's a second hole, um, I don't know. And the funny thing about it is it looks like it was a punched hole as opposed to a drilled hole, and it's, it's sort of you can sort of determine that if you look at it and I don't know if they punched it wrong at the factory or if somebody had access to a punch I don't I don't know why they would uh, why they would do that but uh, it's been done so uh, I don't see any evidence of this uh, train being taken apart and if, if you look at the tabs underneath where, where the uh, engine is secured to the uh, orange frame. There's no evidence of that being tampered with. Usually there's scratches and or the uh, the tabs aren't bent back right, but this looks like it's never been messed with, so uh, I'm at a loss to explain uh, why there's two holes. So what I'm going to do in a minute here, I'm going to send the little, uh, little clockwork motor around and you can hear it whistle, and then uh, I'll run the train as I have it now with the power. I had to make this, uh, this key too, because the key was missing, and uh, I made no attempt to make it an as original key. It's a big uh, obnoxious thing, but it's easy. Makes it easy to wind. So this thing's all set to go. So I'm going I'm to release the brake and uh, send it around. It goes a little fast because, of course, there's no weight on it. But the uh, the impeller inside the whistle acts as a governor. Um, if you run this thing without the whistle, it, it'll just fly off the track. It's, it's almost funny.
So there it is. These, uh, these motors in working condition are probably not easy to find as uh, some clockwork uh, motors in general and I don't think anybody really repairs these things too much. I know there's a couple people that do it and I was just in the fortunate position of being able to uh, make all the parts I need so uh, I'm happy I have this. I'll just keep it with the train and uh, like I said, I'd rather run it with electric power. So I'll send the uh, I'll send the electric train around a couple times. Okay, now, now when I set this up, uh, the electric motor, I, I, I hooked up, uh, I got an old E unit I had and rebuilt it and stuck it in there and uh, I really don't know why I'd ever want to back this thing up. They just, uh, it's pretty much a one direction only train, but it gives uh, some justification for the big obnoxious hole in the roof here that was put there to clear the uh, brake lever for the wind up mechanism. So I'll shove this around the layout a couple times and see how it goes.